Create the part plate. Click New. From the My Templates tab, double-click Part Millimeter ANSI. Click Save. Browse to your Engineering Design with SolidWorks folder. Select on the Projects folder. All your parts for this project will be located in the Projects folder. Enter the file name Plate. Enter the description. Verify that you're in the Projects folder and click Save. Plate is now displayed at the top of the Feature Manager. Create the sketch for the first feature. Right-click on the front plane. Click Sketch. With the Corner Rectangle tool selected, click Corner Rectangle. If Corner Rectangle is not selected, expand the drop-down arrow and select Corner Rectangle. Click the origin and drag outward and to the right to create the rectangle. If the Sketch Relation icons are not displayed, click View, Sketch Relations. Sketch Relations presents small illustrations of coincident, horizontal, and vertical to help you while you're sketching. The rectangle tool is still on the mouse. Right-click in the gray area, select. Now the mouse pointer changes to an arrow. You are free to select on the blue lines. Drag the horizontal line and drag the vertical line. The black lines are fixed to the origin. The blue lines are free to translate. Let's add dimensions. Select on Smart Dimension. Click the horizontal line, click a position below the horizontal line, enter 56 for dimension. Select the vertical line, select a position to the right of the vertical line, enter 22 for dimension. Dimensions can be modified in the sketch at any time. Double click on 22, use the drag wheel to expand or decrease the value of the sketch. You can also use spin box increments by default in blocks of 10. Return to 22 and click OK. Create the first feature. Click the Features tab on the left-hand side of the Commands Manager. Click Extruded Boss Base. Reverse the direction. The extrusion vector can be used to define the depth. We're going to enter in an exact value. Enter 10 for depth. Be certain that the direction points towards the back. Click OK, the green check mark. The first feature is defined. Press the F key to fit the model to the graphics window. Expand View Orientation. Select on an isometric view. Use your wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out. Double click on the first feature. Double click on the dimension 10. Enter 5. Click the Regenerate button. Click OK to save the current value. If you're not happy with the dimension, you can select Undo and return to the original value. Dimensions of the feature can be modified at any time. Plate is the file name saved in the Projects folder. Click Save. Expand the Boss Extrude 1 feature. Sketch is located below the feature. This is the first sketch you created. Click inside the sketch box and rename the sketch. Click inside the Boss Extrude box and rename the Boss Extrude feature. Click Save. Expand the View Orientation menu to display front, top, and right views. You can also display four views at a time or return to a single view. Under Display Style, Select Hidden Lines Removed, Hidden Lines Visible, and Wireframe. Return to a Shaded with Edges display. 